Guys, the chickens here, bringing you another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, you can't tell we got a new light, and it is extremely bright, so let me know what you think of the lighting. But, <coughs> more importantly, what we're getting into today, guys, is, uh, we have the, uh, the Warships AMA is completely finished, so I wanted to go over some of the chickens' favorite questions that got answered. So, let's just dive into it here. So, from Deep Zero War, we got one that says, Hello, Rick. I have a few questions. How does the matchmaking system work for Warships, for example, based on metals, XP, or something else? What would the penalty be, if any, for losing a battle? Uh, on a potentially similar note to question two, do we lose troops in warships like our main landing crafts? If so, can we keep them by winning? Four, are we rewarded for speedy takedowns, overall takedowns, or both partially? Five, can we watch our rivals attack in real time? If so, can we do anything in real time to defend the enemy? Um, <clears throat> that's kind of an out there question, but... Um, his first couple really good. So, your warship matchmaking will be based on your warship rank. So that's how that's going to work. It's not going to be victory points like in the like in the old game. It's going to be a warship rank in the new one. Uh, winning battles will increase your rank and match you against harder opponents. Obviously, uh, for higher ranks, losing battles will result in you losing ranks. Obviously, uh, this is something we feel is not a high priority currently. However, the warships will also reward you with crystals, making your hunt for that perfect statue a little easier. So we get crystals, but we don't get stones. Interesting. Um, that was, uh, you know, there's a lot of great questions here, and I, I do think you guys should go through all of these if you haven't read them already, because there's quite a lot of them. Um, but yeah, I, I was excited about the uh, the warship rank and just kind of the, the PvP system uh, to learn a little bit of stuff about that I thought was interesting, because that's probably what the chicken is most excited for uh, in this warships update is just, <clears throat> you know, they've been saying it for a while, the new way to play, right? Um, so let's dive into, let's dive into a couple player bases here, and I guess we'll use the Zookas and see what we can get done. Okay, let's, uh, <clears throat> let's take the shock launcher over here on this side. But yeah, at least to me anyways, guys, I think that's what, um, you know, that's what I'm looking forward to the most about, uh, Warships is just having, you know, a, a more of a reason to play other than just simply, uh, operations and, um, you know, clearing your map and, and stuff like that for, you know, because most people just play, if they're still playing now, most people play for their operations, they, they clear their map to get intel, you know, they're probably um, mid to max level already, so resources and stuff are kind of, are basically pointless, I mean, <clears throat> even in the, like, the only time I'm concerned about uh, getting resources to max out tribes is before the mega crab if i don't have all the good ones and even then i mean it takes like seven stages or you know maybe 15 stages something like that to get um enough resources to boost the two or three tribes that i need like it's not really um like you don't have to go out of your way too much to farm the resources just to boost tribes if uh if you get what the chicken's saying there so make sure to let me know what uh, what you think was the most exciting news to come out about uh, warships in this ama um you know, I think just the fact that it's coming soon, whatever that means, is uh, is something to get, uh, you know, it's, I don't know. I want to say it's good, but, I like, you got to just, they got to give us a date at some point here, right? Because that's what everyone's really, um, really after, more so than anything, is just getting, a, just getting a date for when all this stuff is finally going to be here. Um, but, you know, it's coming soon. It's coming soon. We know that much. It's not uh, six months down the line. It's not next year anymore, which is nice. Uh, okay, let's go like this. And we'll go like this. A couple smokes right over here. We should be safe from that one shock mine. Um, okay, we'll go like that. And then we'll get a couple... Get a, actually, I'm not going to do double smoke. I'm just going to go here. And then we'll go right about here just like that, guys. So we're training up our Zooka skills for the Warships update. Um, depending on, I guess, what exactly that's going to be. Yeah, we'll go like this. I assume Zookas are going to play a, a, a key role. Holy jeez, the dog just said, hey, pup. Do you want to be in the video? Come on. Yeah, she's not interested in that. But, um, uh, Bob goes down pretty easily. I'm just going to close the door here, guys. I don't think I have anything attached to me. Would you get out of there? Come here. Come on. Out. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Uh, oh, okay, anyways, where were we? So we got a crystal. We got a green crystal. We'll take that. Come here. Come here. Sit. Come. <laughs> oh, chicken's dog is funny, guys. Okay, here we go. 
let's dive into the next base. And uh, what do we want to do here? Okay, so let's take out some of these mines over this way. Um, hmm. But yeah, so, I mean, it sounds like the, the warship ranks, um, it sounds like it's going to work basically the same. You know, it's kind of weird because they also said that Endless Reserves is going to be uh, played out in warships and um, so you're going to be able to attack as much as you want. Um, but it, like, if Endless Reserves is going to work in warships, that means you have to reload your troops, right? Otherwise, what is Endless Reserves actually doing? Um, Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think we're okay, guys. I think we're okay. Uh, we got some Zookas left. Got one more mine right there. Uh-oh, this could hurt us. <sighs> that hurts a little bit. I think we're still fine, though. I think we're still fine. Um, there's a lot of splash damage items right over here. Uh, okay, so maybe we're not going to be okay. Come on, Zookas. Come on. Come on. Oh, man. One more shot. We had it. One more shot. We had it. Ah, that's okay. Though. That's okay. Let's try, let's try, uh, let's try Nader on one more time here. Um, we'll have to do a bit of a, we'll have to do a bit of a reverse, uh, a reverse chicken on this one, guys. Uh, okay, so let's go like this. And let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight boats, Azukas. Uh, okay, we'll let them collect up. And we're going to go right about here is what I'm thinking. Now, only for the special bases uh, do we have to bust out the reverse chicken. Let's go like this quickly. They're taking a quite strange path here. But that's fine. That, that's what we want. There we go. Okay, so now we got the marching correctly. And we're going to go one. And one, two. And we'll go like that. Let's get a premature health pack going down. Let's get a Battlelords going up. And we're going to flare them nice and early. And we're going to shock right here. I think that's going to be the shock that wins it. And boom! Nader goes down. Back, back, back! So, obviously the reverse, uh, the reverse, uh, the reverse Zuka is, is pretty OP. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Let me know what, uh, what you guys think of all the questions down below. In that comment section, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. That is going to wrap it up for the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you next one, guys. Chicken out.